Sport and action photography is all about speed and accuracy. When every split second counts, you want a lens with a good zoom capability to get you up close to fast and potentially dangerous subjects. If shooting from a distance, you'll need a powerful zoom lens to be able to focus in on the detail. A 55 to 250 mm or a 70 to 300 mm are ideal for these types of shots. When photographing something that is traveling at speed, good autofocus is important to ensure the camera always stays in focus. The more autofocus or AF points the camera has, the better it will be at tracking moving subjects. To ensure your focus stays on the subject, make sure your camera is in AI servo or continuous autofocus. To ensure you get the shot, make sure your camera is in high speed continuous burst mode. Setting up for lighting and focus beforehand will help in achieving the perfect shot. You can then track the subject as they come into the view, following them into the position you have chosen to capture the shot. This is called a classic panning shot. Panning is a great skill to learn for sports photography. This is where you move the camera from one side to the other in a horizontal or vertical plane, following your subject. This will result in the subject looking sharp whilst the background has the illusion of movement. Another key factor is shutter speed. You can either slow the shutter speed down creating a slight blur and motion to the image, or if you want to freeze the subject with no movement, use a fast shutter speed. Also, think about whether video capture is important to you. Most digital cameras have video capability. For great results, you'll need at least full HD video quality, allowing you to capture high quality film at the click of a button. It's important to remember that sports and action photography is not just about having the right equipment. It's also about thinking and preparing for the shot beforehand. You often only get one chance to capture that winning shot, so make it a good one. 